Hello, Gemini Collective. I am here to do your wild card read. This read is timeless, so whenever you find it, you are ready to receive its message. This could resonate with you anywhere where you have strong Gemini placements in your chart. So that could be Gemini Sun, Moon Rising, Venus, or North Node, all right? Or even if you just have a lot of planets loaded in Gemini's house, okay? Uh, take what speaks to you, toss the rest aside, and let's just dive right in here, okay? I did get some messages as I was tuning in to your energy. And the first thing that really came through is I feel like there is a need for you to sort of ground and center your energy as well as create a differentiation between what's yours and what belongs to other people. Um, I also was really drawn to wear my uh, tourmaline earrings today. So I feel like uh, tourmaline is an ally for you, okay? Uh, tourmaline is a very protective type energy. But I'm also feeling like this need to have something, you know, solid like that to root your energy. So it might also be helpful for you to get outdoors, in particular doing something like going to a mountaintop, you know? Getting a different perspective, a, a different view, doing rock climbing, you know, something that really puts you in touch with that sense of solidity, you know, grounds your energy out and also uh, takes you to a higher vantage point. I feel like there's a lot of talk around you and I feel like uh, a lot of what you're hearing has sort of been uh, bringing you down, you know, making you feel like you're not really supported. But I do feel that there is a helpful person coming in that's going to be an ally for you. And they're going to set you off on a whole new track, okay? A whole new direction in your life. But you're not going to connect with this person in the usual places. I feel like you really need to get out of your usual haunting grounds, you know, and and, and go go somewhere new, go to a fresh locale, you know, somewhere you've never been before. And I think this is where you're gonna connect with this helpful person. Um, they're gonna help you see things in a new way and collect, connect with some kind of new opportunity um, that wants to come in for you at this time. I also feel like there's a lot of talk going on around you and not all that talk is about you, you know? Some of that talk is about people that you know and you're sort of trying to sort through like what really is true and what's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo, okay? So I think that right now you would be uh, best served by just kind of, you know, taking some time to yourself. Don't, don't get too caught up in what other people are saying at this time. Talk is kind of cheap, you know? Um, but I do feel like there's this big restructuring happening in your life from the ground up. I feel like you're in the process of dismantling a lot of things that have stood their ground in your life for a long time. Um, and you may have a tower come in your way, all right? But I think that you've known this, you know? I feel like it's not a surprise to you. You've sensed that this is coming. You know that there are certain things that have been foundational in your life that you know, uh, we're sort of built on shifting sands and that they're really not serving you anymore or really even aligned with the direction you want to head in. And so um, there is this sort of call out inside of your spirit for something new, something different, something fresh and something inspiring. And at the same time, you know, it has you feeling a little bit, a little bit fearful, you know, a little bit shaky. Yeah. And I think that this might be related to um, you know, in the, coming up in the shadow aspect here with this Queen of Diamonds energy, this might be more around your concern of being able to provide for yourself financially, being able to have the security that you need, um, and also, you know, maybe that emotional security. You know, sometimes, even though you know something isn't really working for you, it can kind of be comfortable, right? And and we see that with this three of diamonds energy. It's like uh, sometimes we we stay in situations because it, it sort of gives us that sense of security, right? Um, but you've taken some time out to yourself recently, and this has allowed you to sort of let go, you know? You've been really working on letting go and turning things over to spirit. And I see that this was the right choice, you know? It's gonna bring you victory, you know? 
But first it comes through what looks like a loss with this shadow as aspect, you know? And we do see there's a lot of pain involved here with this three of spades energy, all right? But it's like, this needs to be cleared so you can really align with your true happiness because this has been a false happiness, all right? This has been a false sense of security, you know? It looked good. It felt like it was the right thing for you, but it's not really what is gonna fill your cup. And I think you're gonna be best served by trusting in what you know is true for you and what you know you need to do in your heart of hearts with this seven of clubs energy, you know? Stand your ground, okay? You don't have to settle for less anymore. It's time for you to expect the best for yourself. And you level up when you do this, okay? You level up to this king of diamonds energy. So you jump from the queen to the king, all right? You don't need to worry about your financial security. You're going to have exactly what you need to move forward, you know? Because, again, with this 10 of diamonds energy coming up in the shadow uh, that security that's been built and I see this really revolves around your home situation it's based on a false sense of security so when you're you're basing uh, you know your sense of stability on something that really never was solid to begin with because there's been too many too many things going on I feel beneath the surface i feel like there's something foundational you know that hasn't been in integrity that's out of alignment you know um and and this has kind of led to a false start you know and and made you feel like you didn't really have the ability to take action maybe it affected your self-esteem on a certain level you know uh you really had faith in something and the fact that you're starting to see holes, you know, in what used to seem so solid, right? It's sort of making you question yourself, like, do, do I really know uh, what's in my best interest, you know? Because I thought this, this was it, right? Um, but you can't, you can't take these experiences uh, as any sign of there's something being, you know, foundationally wrong with you, okay? Sometimes we go through challenging episodes in our life and it's so we can learn a certain lesson, you know, and though you may have felt held back and you may sort of be taking a pause, like, I, I don't know what action to take right now. That's what I'm really getting. Remember, you got somebody helpful coming in that's, that's going to be an ally to you. They're going to help you get back on your feet and get back on the right track and you know, put this heartache behind you, this three of spades behind you, you know, with this uh, light energy coming in to support you, helping you move out of the darkness. And maybe even something that's going to help you shed that pain in your heart with this jack of hearts energy and, and open you up to possibility. I feel like some invitation is coming your way um, and it's going to bring in new energy for you. It's going to bring in some kind of new opportunity for you. And I think this is going to give you a sort of courage, you know, to face what you have to face, to let go of what you need to let go of and open yourself to new possibilities, you know. And I think once, once that happens, you know, and you align with this new energy that wants to come in for you, um, you're going to be feeling a lot better about your direction moving forward, you know, because I do see that you've been really trapped with this eight of spades energy coming in in the shadow. You know, there is this sense that you feel like you you don't really have an option, you know, for what action to take, you know? You're, you're unclear about what option to take. And again, I want to reiterate that I feel a lot of that has to do with um, you listening to people around you, you know? You're getting swayed by, uh, in some cases, gossip, okay? You know? Maybe people are talking about your person, okay? This is something that just came in. Um, and it's causing you to have some doubts. And doubts in your own judgment, right? And that's never a good feeling. So I just say, you know, ground your energy out, you know? Ground your energy out. 
get some space. Get yourself some tourmaline. You know, stuff that stuff that tourmaline in your bra. Don't put up with any fuck shit, you know? And, and if people come around you and, and they want to talk in your ear about uh, situations that are really none of their fucking business, you tell them to step off, all right? I really feel there is a need to protect your energy right now. And I do feel like you've gone through some really heavy emotional stuff and it's left you a bit vulnerable. So understand that when you're vulnerable like that, sometimes people can come forward and, and try to manipulate your energy and work you to their advantage because, you know, they, they see an opportunity to gain and they know that you're feeling a bit shaky, all right? So just hold tight, okay? Help is on the way. I really feel like, you know, um, you have a lot of angels on your side. And whether you believe in angels or not, you know, there's earth angels too, all right? And and there is somebody very helpful coming in. And they're going to be like a rock for you, okay? And they're going to introduce you to something that's really going to turn your life around. Um, and I do feel like you're going to meet this person when you're on the road. Like, you need to get out of your usual stomping grounds. They're not... They're not where you'd usually find them, and they're not connected to anybody that you know. Like, this is totally fresh energy. There is a lot of shadow stuff coming up for you, okay? There's a new beginning that's supposed to be coming in for you. This is a financial beginning. This is uh, something stable that you can count on. It was 11.22 on the clock when I brought that in, okay? So this is something that is destined for you. All right. It's a blessing that's been earmarked for you by spirit. But there's somebody who's trying to uh, prevent you from receiving that gift. You know, um, there may be some jealousy involved. You know, we do see uh, with this nine of spades energy, you've been worried about this a lot. It may have actually caused you some sleepless nights. OK, but this is coming in in a light aspect. So this is a sign for you to just, you know, let let your worries just fall away, okay? Just trust, just trust. You're being looked out for, okay? I really feel like there's this protective energy around you right now. And 12, 12 on the clock when I said that, okay? That's three, three. So that's like helpful people coming in, you know? This is your guides are around you. Pay attention, listen, follow the signs. Like everything you need is gonna show up to get you on this course redirect because you've been surrounded by people that don't have your best interests at heart and they're really trying to block your blessings. And it's time for you to move away from these individuals and align yourself with some new people. And those people are coming in. It's like, I see like a cleanup crew. That's what it feels like. And you may actually have to do some literal cleanup. I'm, I'm seeing like uh, clearing out stuff from a house, you know, clearing out stuff from a space, making room, um, you know, making room in your life in a physical way. Uh, you know, for the the new reality to come in. So you might be doing a lot of letting go. You might be sorting through your things and, you know, taking some stuff to drop off to donation 1313 13 on the clock when I said that. That's, uh, you know, four, four energy doubled. And 13 for me is also a power number, okay? So it's like you're doing a lot of really looking at what's going to give you ultimate security. And this is definitely... A faded time for you all right this is this is what you're you're needing to go through at this point in in life you know and sometimes we come to these crossroads you know and it can feel pretty heavy but we're guaranteed you know uh, a stepping into our power as soon as we get clear and we take that first step it's it's in our power our ability to move out of the crossroads light aspect coming in with that joker reversed okay so i feel like you know you may sort of feel like you've been played a fool uh but i think you're gonna find when things turn around that uh life has a great sense of humor and though it may feel like you got kind of played it was 14 14 on the clock when i said that there's a lot of synchronicity coming in for you uh that's five five energy this is change that's meant to happen it's unexpected it causes upheaval, it can feel destabilizing, but it really is about getting you where you need to go because I see there's been a lot of betrayal energy around you with this five of spades in the shadow, okay? I'm telling you.
sometimes it's hard to let go of what we've become attached to. You know, at one point it may have felt like it was everything that we needed. It may have felt like our dream come true. And so it can be a lot to kind of wrap your brain around uh, this notion that you've invested your energy, your time, your heart in something that was false and doesn't really serve you. And I know that's a lot to take in, but if you could only see what's on the other side of this, there's something so beautiful waiting for you. It's about you having the courage, you know, to take the step into that new frontier and see everything that's that's on the other side of this difficult passage, you know, that you're going through. But I do feel like you can't really take that step right now because you don't have the clarity you need. And the clarity is not going to come from anybody else. Don't ask other people for advice. Don't bring other people into your situation. Don't complicate things because you need to understand there's people around you that have self-serving motives. So they're not necessarily 1555 on the clock when I said that, okay? So you need to really pay attention right now. You need to tune more into yourself. Sometimes we need to go our own way, yeah. And beware with this Jack of Spades energy uh, coming in the shadow aspect to temper your desire to just act impulsively or, or to make haste. It's okay. You, you got a little window of time here, right? You don't need to throw things into chaos by taking a premature action. You know, so separate what's yours and what belongs to other people. Don't let it cloud your vision. I really encourage you to kind of keep to yourself in terms of, you know, the choices you want to make moving forward, uh, the decisions that you have before you, uh, the emotions that you're processing. Sometimes it's, it's healthy, you know, to sort of like take some space for ourselves and and really get clear on where we're at especially if you've had a lot of people talking in your ear all right i think this is really in your best interest gemini um and the direction will appear before you you know you're getting too locked into this fear with this uh nine of spades okay in the shadow aspect you know you already got the confirmation that those worries are going to be resolved, right? Trust a little bit. How many times in life have you been through major reroutes, you know? How many times have you been in a position in your life where the bottom fell out and you thought, oh my gosh, you know, how am I going to turn this around? And yet you were like the comeback kid, all right? You are going to find your way out of this situation. And it was 1744 on the clock when I said that. That's big. Four, 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 four energy. It's also eight and four energy, okay? You have so much destiny and fate working in your life right now. Woo! Hold on. <laughs> Woo! Another eight, okay? This is what you're not seeing right now. Everything that you truly desire, that sense of complete fulfillment emotionally spiritually all right coming in in the light aspect it begins with you walking away from what you know has played its role in your life it's time to move forward okay and really open yourself to the very best what you truly deserve what's really going to make your heart happy you know you don't need to settle. You don't need to make do for less than really, you know, sets your soul on fire, fills you with enthusiasm. You deserve to feel that fulfillment, but you can't get that reward until you let go and walk away from what's been draining, you know, draining your life force, taking, taking the enthusiasm out of your life, all right? On the other side of this is everything you've been waiting for. And with this eight energy, it's promised to manifest materially, right? This, this move away from what has been, you know, making you feel less than, uh, making you feel not good enough, making you feel like you always have to bend over backwards and contort yourself 
you know, to fit others' expectations or to be to be who they think you need to be by trusting in who you are, investing in yourself that way and saying, you know what, I'm gonna go my own way, it's okay. It's okay for me to stand alone and go my own way. I know what I'm worth and I know that life has something in store for me and it's beautiful and I'm, I'm scared, but I'm gonna take that risk, I'm gonna face it. And I'm gonna take this gamble on myself and, and trust that something better is around the corner for me. By you doing that, you step into your power. You step into your power and all of the abundance, all the reward, financially, emotionally, in terms of your sense of security and stability, it all comes in for you, okay? This is like rebirth energy coming in in the light with this uh, ace of spades in reverse, okay? Actually, it's not in reverse, and that's interesting. Why did I think this was in reverse? It's not. It's upright, and that's interesting. That's interesting. Maybe you think that there is another chance at something. Maybe that's what's keeping you stuck. Maybe you think that if you just stay a little longer, if you just try a little harder, that that's going to, you know, create a change in your situation, you know? Maybe you think, if I, if I just invest a little more in this situation, maybe it can get back to where it once was. Maybe it will recapture that, that sense of, uh, you know, positivity and happiness and uh, personal fulfillment that it used to give me. But this is a this is a losing investment, okay, with this six of wands coming in in the shadow. Don't get sucked into that, okay? Uh, the rebirth energy comes from you investing in the new. Um, and I know sometimes that's not always easy to hear, especially when we feel very attached to the way things have been. But this is coming in really, really strongly for you. I think that's so interesting that I thought that the, the Ace of Spades was in reverse when it was actually upright. Um, I think that that is kind of a big clue about what's been tripping you up. I think you're, you're trying to halt the death, uh, that there's something that, that has you believing that maybe there is a second chance, you know, there is a second go around that maybe things can turn out better uh, if you just put a little bit more work in. And this can apply to any area of life. It, it can be uh, in terms of a relationship. It can be uh, related to a career direction. You know, we did have a lot of financial stuff coming up. Um, in the picture here in the frame. So, you know, uh, definitely could be uh, along those lines as well. Um, it really could deal with any situation that is very foundational in your life that gives you a sense of security that you've invested a lot of your time and energy in. You know, don't get, don't get duped into thinking that more is gonna make it better. You know, it, it's not true. It's time to really cut the cord and move forward. Um, yeah, you know, just as I said that, this very well could have to do with work. Maybe you're being inspired uh, to move in a new direction in terms of how you make your living, you know, your livelihood. Maybe that feels very scary for you because what you've been doing has been giving you that security that you've, you've needed and you've wanted, but you're, you're actually feeling kind of compelled to head in a new direction. And maybe there's even something that has a little bit of a creative slant to this. And you wonder, can I really sustain myself like this? I would say if that's the case, you know, if you're feeling lit up, go for it, okay? That's your soul talking to you, right? This is a, a time of a lot of growth and, um, you know, sort of revolutionary energy, you know? I think that as you step away from what's no longer really fulfilling you on a soul level, there's going to be all kinds of uh, sort of like aha moments coming your way. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I had this in me or I had the potential to do this all along and I've been holding myself back. Yeah, you know, 
we see with this nine of hearts coming in in the shadow aspect that uh, you know, you've deferred a lot of personal gratification because of this need for security and maybe even having a little bit of a lack of confidence, like wondering if, if you really have something to offer, you know, and with this two of hearts energy in the shadow, you know, I don't know, maybe you uh, have somebody, a, a partner, you know, um, could be a romantic partner who maybe, you know, feels like that's not the wise way for you to go. This may be one of the, you know, voices in your ear telling you, you know, you can't, you can't go in that direction because that's going to, that's going to unravel the stability we have and it's going to put us in a, in a tight spot. But, you know, really with this 10, of clubs energy coming in in the light aspect your reward your blessing comes in in releasing what is burdening you what feels overwhelming what feels like uh, it's weighing you down is drudgery you know uh, the goal is to like you know have have something you do to earn a living that uh, you know, you would do it even if you 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 weren't getting paid because it, it excites you that much. It it inspires you that much, right? That's like the dream. And I see that, you know, the dream is possible for you. But with this uh, two of wands energy coming in, in the shadow aspect, I think that, you know, you're... you're trying to align your energy with other people too much you're sort of meant to be like a lone wolf right now you're supposed to kind of like take a gamble you know take a gamble on yourself have you ever really invested in yourself in your dreams you know not not taking everybody else's uh wishes and desires into consideration but really thinking about what's best for you and and what excites you what what makes you want to get up in the morning and charge out into the day and experience all that's on offer? You know, I think that you really need to align with what's going to fulfill you, what's going to make you happy. You can't think of everything in terms of partnership, okay? You do this and you turn around this, this feeling of emotional unfulfillment. You're, you're able to transform, you know, what initially felt like a loss. And you get to see what's on the other side of the letting go, okay? And it changes everything for you. It truly changes everything for you. Yes. You know? Take some time. All right, remember, you don't have to act too fast. Give yourself a little, a little space to yourself to bolster your courage, to get really grounded and centered with that uh, jack of spades energy in the shadow. You know, you don't want to move too fast. Likewise, if you have somebody telling you, you know, uh, that you need to head in a certain direction. If they're pushing you, if they're prodding you, if they're putting pressure on you, you need to put the brakes on that and question, why is this person so invested in me making this particular choice or heading in that direction, okay? Just separate your energy from other people for a moment, okay? Get grounded, get centered, all right? Get your, get, get your tourmaline on, okay? Protect your energy, protect your space and really drop into what do you want to do, Gemini, okay? What do you want to do? Because once you are aligned with that, you put your fears behind you, and you bolster your courage, and you take that first step out of the crossroads, what's on the other side of that for you is your Ace of Cups with this Ace of Hearts energy, it's a new beginning that is personally fulfilling for you. And it brings all sorts of opportunities your way. I see you traveling. 
There might be a move in your future, okay? Lots of positivity, lots of fresh new energy with this eight of clubs energy. This is all the light coming in. You're moving out of the shadow right now, okay? This is what you're moving out of. The sense of disappointment, the sense of lack, the sense of loss. And it was 30.03 on the clock when I said that. There's that three energy again. Look to your guides, call on them for help. They're there and they'll speak to you through synchronicity. They're gonna align you with your true heart's purpose, okay? Final cut of the deck energy, it ends on a light note. Seven of Wands. You know what's true and what you need to do for yourself. So stand up for yourself. 30, 33 on the clock when I said that. You know the way forward. Don't listen to anybody else. This is about listening to your heart.